So, in celebration of me being with me for the past five years, yeah, I had somebody that I um, allowed the opportunity to share some of that. And it's back to me and it's going to stay that way. I've rededicated my life back to me. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, here I am. Uh, here's another reason why I would rather just be solo, dolo, and just stay committed to that. So I'm getting ready to leave this place that I'm at. Shout out to the production team for how well they took care of me. Um, I'm grateful. It's been a great birthday. So um, anyway, I'm sitting outside and I'm waiting on my ride to get back to the airport. And there's a couple sitting next to me. And I mean, the dude is just disrespectfully staring at me. He's with his girl. And I'm feeling so bad for the girl. Like, I'm just, like, feeling so bad for her. And I'm giving her a look because she's looking at me. And thankfully, she's not an idiot. Because, you know, some of y'all females are stupid. And then you want to get mad at the other female. A woman, lady, whatever. Um, instead of getting mad at the dude who's straight disrespecting you in your face. Uh, and their car comes. Valet comes, drops, you know, the car off. And they get up. And he's t- staring at me on the way to the passenger seat. This mother sucker gets in the passenger seat, y'all. Leans the seat back and he is chilling while his girl, I mean, she is so beautiful. She must not know it. She could walk back in here right now and probably have somebody that's at one of the casino tables treat her so much better than this freaking scuzz bucket. So... She gets in the driver's seat and she looks so tired and just not happy. So like just, and she's driving off and she looks at me and I look at her and I just want to say to her, baby girl, blink twice, blink twice. But obviously you know, there's no words exchanged, but I'm just really feeling for her because I wish, <laughs> I wish that I could just inject this self-love like maybe can we come up with like some sort of like self-love button that we can just push i wish i had it <laughs> years ago i'm more of it um, but y'all these dudes will embarrass you at every turn so many of them and i'd rather just stay with me because i'll be darned i, I just i'll be gosh darned <laughs> like it's a hell no it's a forever no on that shit uh, like <laughs> in front of my face behind my back to the side whatever they're just not to be taken seriously disappointment disappointment disrespect heartbreak like this happened in her face and i'm still like i have secondhand embarrassment for her because that was just so not right and again another one who wants to be a submissive who wants her to be a submissive provider because she's driving him around that's probably not all that she's providing for him she's giving this dude comfort (sighs) okay that's it That's all. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk.